Well, if you're having people over this weekend and you're looking to jazz up your table a bit, this morning we're introducing you to tabletop planters and how to build one yourself. And after my big win last Tuesday, I have to say I feel like I've got this one in the bag, or maybe I should say in the pot. So here to walk me through is gardening expert Antonio Valente. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Priya. I feel like we developed a very good rapport after the win. I know. Last I week, was so. quite impressed with your performance. <laughs> well, thank last you. Week. Hopefully, I can live up to it today. Um, so, what are we doing today? Yeah. So today we're going to be putting together a tabletop planter. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're entertaining this weekend. Yes, it's Easter. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the first thing we're going to start with is some type of vessel. Okay. Okay. No I'm... drainage holes in this vessel, just okay. because it's a tabletop and it's short term. But we've got that ready mm -hmm. to go. And then we have some of my favorite um, planter flowers here today. Yes, what do we have? Yeah, oh, so we've beautiful. got some Campanula, this pretty sort of uh, periwinkle flower. Gorgeous. And we've got this beautiful Primula. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some mini daffs. I always, Easter always reminds the me of daffodils. Yeah. And then we've beautiful. also got one of my favorite uh, sort of filler foliages, uh, Scotch moss. Nice, okay. And then we've got some other little extra details that we're gonna be adding. We've got a nest here with some eggs in it, and we've got some pussy willows. And uh, yeah, so why don't we get started? Perfect, yeah. let's do it. Okay, and you set up the station for me too. Yeah. Uh, I love the gloves you bought <laughs> you, me, by I the way. They're super cute. <laughs> they're really cute. And they've even got flowers on them. So this would also be, I was thinking, a great housewarming gift. Oh yeah, totally. Because I've got a couple of those to go to, and you can make them yourself. So okay. what do we start with? Okay, so we're gonna start with the daffodils. All right. Okay, so those are the, the mini daffs. Okay. And you're just gonna take them, pop them out of the pot. Yeah, oh, good. Oh, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. All right. And I sort of just placed them, I placed the first one in the back, mm -hmm. back center. And then I took the second mini daff. These are so pretty. And then I placed it just sort of forward and sort of on an angle from the first one because what we wanna do is create a little bit of an alcove. This is where we're gonna be placing our nest later. I see, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, good job. Okay, and then to the right of the daffs, mm -hmm. I took the Campanula. I love this, it matches my outfit. Totally. <laughs> and I just tucked mm -hmm. them in here to the side. Oh, look at all these roots. And this purple and blue combo always looks good. It's like a classic. Yes. Then I took the Primula. We're gonna take the Primula. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to insert that on the other side. So in terms of how long this will last, what can people expect? Um, you know, these are springtime flowers, so they really do appreciate cool weather. So if you can give them, if you can put them somewhere a little bit cooler, they'll last longer. Right. But once you bring them inside, you know, you'll only get maybe a couple weeks out of them just because they tend to mature quicker when it's uh, warmer weather. And, and stuff. these are all obviously full plants. So after, you know, you're done with it inside, can you move them outside? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, except for the scotch moss, everything here is actually a perennial. So plant them outside when you're done and they will come back year after year. Yes, I remember oh, that from our quiz. That. I did already that. know uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the moss, the moss looks really pretty if you put that at the front. All right. So then it sort of cascades out of the pot. I mean, sort of out of, the, out of our planter. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, and then we're going to take and play with like color, play with texture, play with scale. You'll notice I used the mini daffs rather than the larger daffs, just because um, this is a small planter, so they tend to be more in scale. And I guess depending on what season you're making this for, you can sort of customize, like not only the flowers you're using, but you have those little eggs. The so, little like, eggs? The decoration yeah, for piece. sure. Okay, so then, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> do you have a little alcove at the front for your eggs? Um, Insert I'll that. Oh, my eggs are gonna fall. Then lastly, we're gonna add some height by way of... It's a little precarious, but I think they're gonna stay. <laughs> of the Pussy Willows. These remind me of my childhood. Yeah, they're same, yeah. me too. They're so I know, cute. I love them. The other thing we're gonna, that you should do that we're not gonna do because I don't think we'll have time is you would wanna fill in with some potting soil in and amongst the flowers. Okay. Okay, and then insert your Pussy Willows. And what about taking care of these? You know, if you give them to someone, what would you tell them to do? Yeah, because like I said at the beginning of the segment, there are no drainage holes in this case, so yes. don't overwater. You know, place two fingers on the surface of the soil. If it feels dry, water it. Oh, this is so cute, I love this. What else would you look for in a planter? In a planter? So you said no drainage. Uh, yeah, no drainage holes mm -hmm. in this case, just because you don't want it spilling all over the table and whatnot. But I love the colors. The colors are really pretty, sort of springy. So I'm working backwards here. I don't know <laughs> what is I this feel like yours like? is much more well put together than <laughs> no, the one is gorgeous. Right here. Come on, stop <laughs> it. These are so nice. <laughs> love it. And different, I guess some of the different plants would need different amounts of water. So you'd have to kind of be careful about what you're choosing. Exactly. Oh yeah, totally. Select your flowers that way. I mean, I wouldn't go ahead and put like any succulents or, or cacti in here just because right. they require 
totally different conditions than these spring flowering plants. But yeah, everything here um, is a, a really good match. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank this you, is great. Look at our planters. I'm very impressed that our eggs aren't falling out of the I know, I know. Too. They're not glued.